Ah, Undertale. With two playthroughs and 16 hours put into it, I can say one thing about this game. It's shit. Well, I know what you're saying behind your keyboard, you fat weeaboo neckbeard. Fuck boy, this game is a billion positive reviews and overwhelmingly positive grade on Steam, you can't say that. Well, let's get to the point of why this game is ass in the first place, you piece of shit. Alright, so the first reason this game is ass is because of the name creation. The name creator only lets you put six letters for your name. That's retarded, considering there are names longer than six letters. Look, for example, I want to name my character Benjamin. And no, my name isn't Benjamin, but fuck you, I can put Benjamin if I want. It's a game. But anyways, I can't spell out the whole thing. Well, how are people going to put their names if they wanted to, like Alexander, or Christopher, or Donovan? And no, shorting them to Alex and Chris just isn't the same. The first thing you might notice when you enter this game is how buggy it is. I mean, look at what you can do right at the beginning of the game. Was Toby Fox seriously too lazy to patch this out? I mean, come on. The whole game itself is buggy. I kept reading online about people having this problem. So get this. When I was fighting one of the last bosses of the game, look what happened. Did you see that? My game fucking crashed. I tried doing it again to see if it would happen, and guess what? Yep, it happened again. And you guys call this a great game? The gameplay. Many people say that this is what makes the game unique. I can honestly say that at first I was intrigued by how different the combat system was, but then I took a look back and realized it's just turn-based RPG with a little bullet hell added to it. That's nothing special. I mean, look at Geometry Dash where it combined music and platforming together. Combining two games into one isn't anything special, people. And with that said, let's talk about the music. Music is the same throughout the game. What I mean by that is, like Undyne's theme, is also the waterfall and the ruins theme. All the songs are just sped up or slowed down to sound differently because the creator was too damn lazy to make more than like 5 songs for the entire game. And if you haven't noticed, I'm in incognito mode right now because I don't want my recommended section of YouTube to be filled with Undertale trash. On to the characters. The characters are honestly poorly designed. Half the characters look like shitty DeviantArt OCs that a 7 year old made. Look at Papyrus. He's just like a fucking star man. Toby even copied the symbol on his chest. Oh, and have I said yet that this game is just an Earthbound wannabe? Considering all the characters' personalities in the game are pretty much the same to those in Earthbound, why am I even comparing this to Earthbound? Undertale doesn't even deserve to be named when talking about Earthbound. Don't even get me started on difficulty. The game is easier than fighting a level 1 CPU in Super Smash Bros. I swear to god, if I see one more fucking Frisk for Smash picture, I will shoot myself. Anyways, the bosses are the easiest thing ever. Look at this guy beat Sans without taking a hit. Sans is supposed to be the hardest boss of the game. People are just beating it without breaking a sweat. Oh, and by the way, the only reason I didn't show footage of me beating him was because I didn't want to do the shitty genocide run just for 5-10 to 10 seconds of a clip. Oh yeah, and I would like to thank all the YouTubers I've been showing in this video. Without you guys, I would have had to play through this shitty game all over again. During the Metaton boss fight, Metaton lets you type into your keyboard anything you want. Well get this, if you put the creator of the game's name, Metaton says, What's a Toby? Whatever it is, it sounds sexy. What a cocky son of a bitch to sit down and take the time to program that while his game still fucking crashes and bugs out. I'd like to also point out this annoying flaw of many from the game. Can I get through one minute of this game without something stupid interrupting me? Like a phone call from Papyrus or a fucking message from Alphys telling me how much of a weeb she is and how she doesn't have any friends? God damn. And now for the final and number one problem I have with this game. Toby might as well change the game's name to fucking Walking Simulator with Bullet Hell the game. I've done more walking in this game than I have in real life. My final rating for this game is just play Earthbound out of 10. Thank you.